Uh, Use headphones for the best experience. What's that? Oh my god, is that a human? I need to hide. Mm, it's just lying on the ground and not moving. Maybe I can take a closer look. Wait, no. What if it's just resting or sleeping or something and it instantly kills me? I mean, a slime like me is one of the weakest monsters out there, but if a human let their guard down, I could probably hurt them. Never mind that. I don't even want to hurt them. I just want to... Wait, the human... Their face is really red. That's not supposed to happen, is it? And it's also lying in the sun. C could it be they're overheated? That's kind of a problem though, isn't it? They could die. But again, what if they wake up and, and kill me? Alright, let's face it. It is dangerous, but if they die, I would never forgive myself. Human? Hello, human? Uh, I'm gonna get closer now, so please don't freak out if you're awake. Hey. Hey. Oh my god, you're burning up like crazy. Um, what do you do with a human with a heat stroke? Uh, you carry them out of the sun? Yeah, that works. Human? Still not responding. Okay, um... I'm sorry for this human, but I need to ensure my safety too. <sighs> okay, what do I do now? Wait, I know! My body is pretty cold on its own. I think if I put my hands on their face, it should cool them down. H human? Ah! Wait, wait, please don't freak out. I'm, I'm, I'm just a slime. I'm not gonna hurt you, alright? Please don't punch me or... Relax, your sword is right there. I just took it from you so you don't freak out when you wake up. Whoa, whoa! Oh, adventurer, you're passing out. Please don't move around. Look, I'm just trying to help you. Please let me take care of you. Yeah, that's it. No! No, lay back. Down! Here, water, drink. Yes, drink all of it. I saved some for myself. Where did I get it? I sucked it up from a river a few hours ago, so I... How do I say it? Threw it up for you? Wait, no, I promise the inside of me is sanitary. There's no stomach fluids or anything. I can eat or drink something and then push it out again in the same state. I can even stop food from rotting. Anyway, introductions. I'm a slime. I surely don't pose a threat to a mighty looking adventurer like yourself. I just saw you lying down on the ground and then I figured you had passed out because of the heat, so I I dragged you under this tree and held my cold hands on your face to cool you down. Oh, <laughs> you're thanking me? I'm just glad I could help. But more importantly, what are you doing here? Look at all your impressive gear and you get a heat stroke? You need to take better care of yourself. Anyway, are you feeling better? Great. You like the way my hands feel on your face? Really? No, I just thought humans didn't like the literally slimy texture. Why do I think that? I don't know, I mean, you're the first human I've ever interacted with, so I just assumed. 
Well, you don't like it when a basilisk spits on you, right? Oh, that feels wet and disgusting, but I feel cool and relaxing. Oh, wow. Thanks, human. Wait, you fought a basilisk? I just said that as an example, but that's a pretty high-ranking monster, isn't it? And the fact that you fought it means that you're extremely strong and you can kick my ass at any moment, even without your sword. Please, please don't hurt me. You really won't? You'll get in trouble with the church if they find out about it, though. Wait, that sounded like I want you to hurt me. No, of course I don't want you to do that, but I just don't want to get you in trouble. You know what? I think we should part ways now. You don't look like you're in immediate danger of losing your life anymore, so that's where my good deed ends. You don't look like you're in immediate danger of losing your life anymore, so that's where my good deed ends. We wouldn't want anyone to see us. You'd be charged with treason and I'm dead meat if anyone encounters me anyway. Doesn't feel right? What doesn't feel right? Leaving without thanking me properly? Y you already thanked me though. Is there anything I want? I, I don't know. I'm a slime. I can't eat or drink anything. You know I can, but I can't taste it. Really, you don't need to do anything. It's enough to see you smiling and not... dead. <sighs> Sorry, that was uncalled for. You want to bring me home? What? You can't. Nobody's gonna believe this half-transparent figure is human. I mean, I can shrink into this typical ball of slime, but why the hell did I tell you? Oh god, there's all the more reason for you. Listen, we're gonna get in trouble. A lot of trouble. What do you want to show me anyways? Take no offense. Okay. You want to take care of the person that saved you? Because you're scared that a weak monster like me is gonna get killed if I stay here? Well, I agree. It's not very safe for me here. I've had my neck on the line several times already. Do you understand that if anyone sees me in the town, we're both dead? Maybe I'm safer with you than in the forest, but there's just so many people in the town, it's not worth the risk. Even if they find out, you can convince them with your name. Wait, are you someone famous? You're that adventure? Yes, even I heard your name. I overheard some goblins talk about you. You're the strongest adventurer in the country and maybe even in the entire world. The goblins talked about you with great respect and that's goblins. They don't have respect for anything. Apparently people are saying that S rank is too low for you. Are you telling me I'm talking with that person? As a monster? If anyone finds out about me, I'll be known as the monster who saved the SS rank's life. I mean, that could help sway the people's opinion, but wouldn't that hurt your pride? Not that I'm trying to say you're shallow like that, but isn't your image gonna get tarnished if people realize the only reason why the strongest adventurer in the country is alive is because of a slime notorious for being the weakest monster out there? Hmm. Hey, what are you doing? Why are you patting my head? It, it's cute how I'm worried about you. Hmm. Deal? You'll take me home for a few days and if I don't like it, you'll take me back here? 
You know what? You're right. I'm just a slime, destined to be killed by the rookiest of rookies for their first bit of XP. Let's face it, I'll probably die in this place eventually, so if there's a risk anyway, I'll rather go out with a bang. The human, the human say something like that, right? Like, stepping out of your comfort zone. Alright, I trust you, human. I'll shrink to the ball form so you can carry me, okay? <sighs> These humanoid forms feel way better. I mean, sometimes I like the ball form too, but it's only sometimes. It's like this nice pressure keeping you all tucked in. Do you know that feeling? I imagine it's like when you stack a bunch of blankets on top of you and they're nice and heavy. <sighs> Never mind that. Is this your place then? Is this what human houses look like? I've never seen one from the inside. Oh right, you're the best adventurer. I guess your house is a bit more extra. Well, I don't know about the practicality of things, but I like it. Visually, it's nice. How do I know so much about humans? Well, you might have noticed, but I'm speaking human language. I'm not sure what's the reason for this, but I can understand everyone. Good thing is, I'm not getting overloaded with sounds from every side, because I have to really focus on the voice to understand it. I don't really know myself, I hope I'm making a bit of sense. Anyway, you're the first human I've ever came in contact with, because normally when I notice one, I'm running the opposite direction as fast as I can. But the other monsters seem to encounter you guys all the time, so I just eavesdrop on their conversations and I think I've learned quite a bit. Like the comfort zone saying. Also, I seem a bit smarter than other creatures. They'd repeat something they heard a human say and they'd really ponder on it despite not understanding it, but even fairies who understand human language couldn't make it make sense. Yeah, I do. I think it could be because I imagine something when I hear a word, you know, you say adventurous card, and even though I've never seen one, I can imagine it. So with this logic, if I know all the words, I know all the meanings. That's probably also the reason I knew what to do when I encounter a human who's having a heat stroke. I I'm not a bad guy? Well... I'm trying my best, well, I'm trying my best not to be. Where did that come from? You don't understand why the church sees monsters as evil? What? You're telling me that? An adventurer whose job is killing monsters? Well, you answered your own question. Most of them hurt humans, even slimes try. So, I don't blame them for generalizing it as all monsters. Just, I know it's selfish, coming from a slime, asking one of the strongest humans out there, but please, promise me you'll keep me safe. <laughs> Thank you. I'll make sure to save your life if you ever get in trouble again, too. I'm just a slime, destined to be killed by the rookiest of rookies for the first bit of XP. <laughs> You want to bring me home? What? You can't! Fuck, I sound like a fucking flamingo. Really, really, fuck, it's, there's no flow. Come on, lock in. Nobody is gonna believe this half, this half transparent for human figures. I'm running the opposite direction as fast as I can, but... God damn it. They could, they could die. No, that fucking sucks. 
I can eat or drink something and then push it out in the bleh.